Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Long Gone Loser Rock Show. This is just a quick one to go through three Aussie band releases that I've picked up recently. And I figured I should share them with you all because Australian music is some of the best in the world. And I, I love pushing it to everybody because I want you all to know about it. Because I know how hard it is for an Aussie band to get noticed outside of our own country. Hell, it's even hard enough for us just to get noticed in this country. But, you know, I do what I can. And I'm going to start with this band, Love Minus Zero. Now, this is power pop along the lines of like, you know, the stems, big star, etc., whatever. Well, it doesn't have the keyboards like the stems do, but it does have a flute. Flute solo, my friends. But this is really good. Uh, Love Minus Zero were a band that uh, had uh, a few songs, and by, by a few, I mean like three, uh, on Waterfront Records, on compilations. And an album was supposed to happen, or a release was supposed to happen, never went ahead. Uh, this single is available on Bandcamp, so you can jump on a Bandcamp if you like what you hear. Uh, I'm going to play you a song now. This is a song called Don't Bring Me Down. It is the B-side, although on the labels, the labels are on the wrong side. So I was hoping to record the other one, but then when I started recording it, the, the other song came on, and whatever. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying. The labels are wrong. But anyway... Here we go. This is a song, Don't Bring Me Down, by Love Minus Zero. So there we go, Love Minus Zero, limited to 100 copies only. Now they're all numbered, and there it is there, 33 of 100. So I'm assuming that that means there are still copies available, because I didn't get this that long ago. Uh, I got this after speaking with Kieran from the band, because I'm interviewing them for the Waterfront book. So I had to speak to him, and he told me about this. So there is the labels. There you go. Mary says, by Love Minus Zero is available now on Bandcamp.com. So if you're interested, look up Love Minus Zero Bandcamp and it should be there staring you in the face. There is also a CD that has everything on it, but this is a vinyl channel, so we're going with the vinyl. Second, I just got this recently. I saw these guys with the victims. Uh, it is Chimers, and they're a two-piece band uh, out of, uh, where are they, from Wollongong or something like that. This is a limited edition that they did of 20 copies with this screen printed cover. Uh, it's numbered on the back there, as you can see. And I didn't know this, but when I pulled it out, it was signed by the band. Released by Evil Tone Records. There's the label. Evil Tone Records. And yeah, two songs, Generator and Tooth. Now let's have a listen to Generator right now. And by the way, it's both songs are on both sides of the record. So uh, it doesn't matter what side you pull out. And if one side has a scratch, you can just flip it over and play the other one and the other one's fine. How cool is that? But anyway, Chimers, this is Generator. Fantastic band, fantastic song. I saw them open up for the victims uh, just recently, and yeah, that's what got me interested in becoming a fan of Chimers. So there you go. You head over to Evil Tone Records if you like that, and uh, yeah, grab yourself a copy if it's still available. Only 20 copies though, so maybe not. But you know, they may do more. Who knows? The last thing I'm going to talk about is this Beast of an LP by Grit. Now, I have spoken about Grit before, I think, on this channel. They released a 7-inch on 
uh, Fantastic Mess Records, which is two songs that are actually both on this LP. Now, this LP is their debut full length. It is limited to 100 copies, I believe, on white vinyl. And for those who don't know, Grit is Benny Watkins, who was in the band Warped. He'd been doing Warped for a very long time, and then Warped came to an end, and he started Grit. And uh, this band, it's a beast. Like, I like this cover art. I think it's really cool looking. Uh, different kind of beast indeed. But yeah, self-titled LP released on their own record label. And yeah, distributed by Cargo. So you should be able to get it around the world. Uh, but like I said, there's only 100 copies. So you, if you like this, you might want to get in quick. And anyway, let's listen to the very first song on the album. The song is called Murder in the Village. Check it out. Now that's only a little taster of what's to come if you buy this record because this record is a beast the whole way through and you can excuse a pun if you want but literally this is a beast of a record so there you go there's a back cover with the track listing there awesome and yeah this record oh wow i was really really into it now i ordered this record purely on the fact that i had that single and the single songs were so good that i needed to get the lp uh, that's the band there, and that is the insert for you. No lyrics, though. So uh, my friend Dan in Mexico will not be happy about that. He likes to have lyrics. Recorded, mixed, and mastered at Goat Sound Studios, the same place that my band, The Thorazines, just recorded our brand new single, which is coming out very, very soon on Sonic Shakes Records. Grit. They're out and playing. They're rocking. They're kicking ass. And yeah, get along and see a show if you can. And get yourself a copy of the debut album, Grit, by the band Grit. So there we have it, three Australian releases for you to sink your teeth into. If any of this appeals to you, please get onto Bandcamp and buy yourself copies. Support what the Australian bands do uh, if you're living overseas. I know the shipping is horrendous. It always is, and it sucks, and there's nothing we can do about it. The Australia Post likes to charge that much to send a record overseas. I don't know why. I can only assume money, greed, whatever. Uh, but it's all we've got. We don't have media mail service. We don't have any of these other things that other countries have. It's crazy. It's cheaper for me to buy a record from Germany than it is for a German to buy a record from Australia. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I hope you've heard something you've liked. I hope you've seen something you've liked. Go out and buy some records. Buy these records. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care of yourself and look after each other. Bye-bye.